hey everyone, it's me, Kathy, again, bringing you back another video. And today, um, I'm gonna do sort of a haul, not really, kind of, sort of, not the haul. So, um, story behind this. Story behind this haul is that, um, I went to, um, and this is the, the end of the school year, and I went to go and give my teacher some art prints that she bought at, um, an art show that we were having. And, um, she asked me if... Um, no. I asked her, I'm like, do you need any help with anything? Like, well, and then she said, well, um, the cabinet is looking pretty disorganized because she has this big bag cabinet in the back that has a bunch of, uh, just, just filled with a bunch of supplies that, um, you know, that, um, that's used for, um, the students. And a lot of it is just all over the place. It's a mess. Um, you can't, you don't know where anything is. A lot of the stuff is empty and it needs to be thrown in the chest. So I, I helped do that for her. For like, what? An hour and a half? And um, there's a lot of stuff there that she didn't need. And um, a lot of stuff that she couldn't use um, were oils. And she and in the end, she ended up giving me all of her oil colors. And, you know, that's a very big help considering that um, all the stuff I got, it's not new, but it's a lot. Like... She gave me, I got a bunch of mediums and just a bunch of paints and like a ringer and all in all, everything I got, if I had gotten it new at the store, probably would have been like uh, uh, around 80 bucks. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. And art supply is expensive, as you guys know. And this is a uh, major haul, so on with the video. So, this is around everything that I got. Huh. Okay, so let's move swiftly, guys, because I have a lot of stuff to show you. First thing is, ooh, I don't think I have this. Okay. First things first, we got this whole Dick Blick oil color set. Excuse the lighting, I'm working with what I have. And what is in this right here? Just a bunch of used um, paints, basically, I mean. We have just about every which way you can use them. Just like that. Um, I, I'm just taking things out of this box right here. I'll show you guys each bit. Just this miscellaneous brand. I've never heard of this, like, Shiva. Tell me in the comments if you have. So, what's inside every one of them? It's just more oils. This is what they look like. This one's cadmium, ye cadmium yellow light. And we have just a bunch of other colors right here. And I think the other one has the same thing. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty much. So I got two boxes of them. That, that's a lot of paint by itself. And I haven't even gone through everything. Through all the paint. So, um... Let me just show you. Okay. Nice things first, we have this huge paint of, it's a huge box of, um, white oil. I mean, um, the brand is Waver, and this is what the thing looks like, and, um, it is used, because if it were new, you'd probably, it'd be, like, completely, it'd be completely round, but as you can see, there's a bunch of bumps here, and it's, um, the brand Professional, so... I think this is the best of the best you can get, and it's real big, and the good thing is, it is white, because I'm probably going to be using a lot of that, as white is very valuable, as any painter would know. Um, next things up here is, I'm just going to take these and put them aside, that, and I'll show you them later. Or actually, I'll just put, show you them now, right now. This right here. Is a handy dandy um, tube bringer. It's actually brand new. I opened the packaging already, but it, um, I've had a couple uses out of it. I used it. Um, the things that are ringed already, I use this for, and it's extremely useful. I, I recommend any artist to to get pick themselves up one of these. It'll it saves. It's a very good investment. I mean, um, you know once. You need to conserve your paint, and this is help the one to do the job for you. So, 
And um, next thing is the box is just a bunch of mediums. So this is one. Look when, and if you're unfamiliar with what this does, it fastens the drying time, so you don't need to wait a couple of days to um, for your paint to finish drying. And another medium we have here is stand oil, and what this is, this just gives your paint. You mix this in with your paint, and it gives a real has a real honey consistency. And your paints take um, it's lengthens the time of your of your paint drying so if you like if you like that that's for you and next thing we have here is basically the same thing so I'm gonna take both of them out it's just linseed oils and anyone who um, works in oh sorry about that anyone who works in oils would know that linseed oil would know about linseed oil because you know I think it's the first medium you're kind of introduced to so this one's just refined and um, linseed, regular linseed. Um, you know, I don't really know what the difference is, but you know, it's a linseed, so. Oh, and what this does is just, it's like the stand oil, it just lengthens the, the drying time. But it's not as thick as the stand oil. Stand oil and linseed oil is basically the same thing. Stand oil is just linseed oil boiled down. And it differs much more thicker, so I guess it's just the consistency you prefer of the two. So that's that. Next thing we have here is if I can take it out. Oh. Paints. So maybe if I can work with a small radius here, it's just a bunch of paint. I mean you got some real real dark paint and you've got paint that looks like it's never been used like uh, oof. like this pur purple for example it looks like it's never been used like a lot of this paint is just like brand new and I am definitely lucky I'm like I got a real score getting all these paints so yeah and, and they're not really I mean, uh, if you if you see a lot of demonstrations with oil paint, this is an example of the the two bringer. I did with the two bringer. If you see a lot of um examples with oil paints, you know, a lot of them say like alizarin crimson or phthalo blue, really fancy sounding ones, and I don't have a. <laughs> that's not a lot of these are kind of basic. Like this is lemon yellow, and this what's this uh cadmium yellow? That's a good one. But, like, I have a lot of black. A lot of these are, like, repeats of themselves. Like, this one's ivory black. This one's, oh, what is this? This one's phthalo blue. Just, you know, a bunch of, um, and I think I saw ultramarine blue somewhere here. So, a lot of them are just, like, real basic colors. But there's a lot of them, so who can complain? And the next thing I got right here is an apron. Now, this is screen printed on, and a little tape paper. And that's the name of my, my um, high school, so, you know, it has a little theme to it. I guess a lot of the culinary students used it. So, and this little box here. It's funny, because I was seeing this stuff all throughout the the school year and this big box full of dirty stuff. Ugh. I have very limited space to work with so <laughs> I apologize if there's... I'll just move this here. Here that works. Okay so if I just open this up here you can see that it is a just just a just a here let me see if I can like show you guys the better it is just a complete mess. It's a complete mess of oils. It's incredible. There you go. And a lot of this stuff is just real sticky and gooey, but like the paints are like huge. I mean, look at this. I think one of these paint tubes, if you were to get them at an art store right now about this size, they'd be like 10 bucks. 
insane. This one's cadmium red. And I don't really want to touch a hub, honestly, because they're just like sticky and gooey and like gross to touch with your hands. So yeah, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what color a lot of these are, honestly. I can't even open some. Like this one's like hard to budge, and I don't have any paint thinner with me because I've never actually used oils. So I don't have any like turpentine or like odorless paint thinner. So I can't really wash these out with soap and water. Or at least I haven't tried. Maybe if you guys know if that one, I'll probably try that sooner or later. And this one is just like an icky blue, as you see here. And it's just <laughs> I don't know what to I don't know what to do with a lot of these. And all of these are just more ickier than others. Just like and they look old too. I looked up this brand. And I read Rowney, and I thought Daler and Rowney. And these bottles don't look anything like this anymore. Like these tubes, they don't look like that anymore. So you know these are like really old. And I tried to find a date on these. And I think one of them said like 1993 or something like that. It's crazy, it's crazy. And like in the bottom here, as you guys see, it's just... Like a bunch of different paint brushes, and a lot of the paint brushes are like stiff, which is what you're supposed to use when you're oil painting. Here's a liner brush, but a lot of them are just like rock hard. I mean, which I don't know if paint thinner will fix. So if you guys have tips for renewing these brushes, I hate to just throw them away. Let them let me know. Let me know, cause and this is a fan brush. I think I have another fan brush in here somewhere, and um. This linseed oil, it was in here, so, and yeah, just a bunch of stuff that, so, oh, there's a palette knife, I mean, like, come on, so yeah, there's a of the old paintbrushes there, and just icky and uh, gross, so, <laughs> that's about it, I think that that's everything I got, oh wait, one more thing, almost forgot to show you guys this. Oop. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's plexiglass. This thing's huge. It's probably like, I don't even know how big this thing is. Probably like a foot and two feet. One foot by two feet. That's what it looks around there. And why I've got this, because I, I use it as a palette. Because everyone who's Everyone says that the best palette to use for oil painting is glass because you can like scrape it off real quick when you're done with your painting. So that's that. And that's about everything I have. Whew, voila. And that is everything that I have to show you guys. So and it's a lot of stuff. I'm really grateful that um, I, I got so lucky and um, I get all this stuff. And um, now all I need is some, some paint thinner, and, um, some turpentine, some solvents. And I can get started with oil painting. And um, put in the box if you guys want to see me oil paint. Um, I'll definitely do a video for you guys about about it. And you know, just check out my other videos. Go to my channel. Uh, I have a bunch of my so social media linked on here. So linked down there on my channel. So um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, rate. Wait, we don't even rate anymore. Share, and um, you know. Send me feedback because that always helps me know what you guys want to know. So, uh, have a good day and goodbye.